So we're going to take a look at connected graphs now. We'll start with this example here. Now you might have a look at that and say, well that's that graph is connected, all of the nodes are connected to at least one other node, but that's not what we mean by connected. So this graph is not connected because we've got those two separate pieces. For our graph to be connected, all of the nodes have to be linked into all other nodes. Maybe not directly, they don't have to link to every single other node with an edge directly, but they, you have to be able to get from one node to any other node. So if we add in an edge, now this one is connected. So we call it connected if there is a path from any node in the network to any other node in the network. So take a look at these examples. What do you think for A? Is that connected or not? And how about B? Is that one connected? Remember you're looking for a path that you could get from any node to any other node if you needed to. So let's have a look at A. This one's got a problem here. These two blue ones, we actually can't get to any of those that I've coloured in pink. They're only linked to other blue ones. The pinks are only linked to pinks. So we actually have a graph that's not connected there. B, however, uh, B is connected. You can get to any node from any other node. There's a path that could take you through all of them. Okay, for connected graphs, there is a formula linking nodes, regions and edges, and it's one of um, the things that that mathematician Euler came up with. So he started investigating what these graphs looked like and some properties between them. So if we start with um, some nodes for a graph, we're just going to do a little table of results as we go along so we can try and see what's happening. So this graph, I'm going to start very simply, we have four nodes. And the regions are any enclosed region and the region outside of the graph. So this has two regions. And of course we've got four edges. Now there is a formula that links all of those. Let's just do a bit more investigating. So if we add in another edge, we've still got four nodes. We've got three regions now and five edges. What about if we put another node on? Now remember... For, our no for this formula to work, we need our graph to be connected. So we've got five nodes now, but we have to connect that node in. So we've added an edge. So we've got five nodes, three regions still, and six edges. Now, if I add in one more edge, let's see what that looks like. So we've added one more to our edges, so we get seven edges. Adding that extra edge closed off a region, so now we have four, but we're still left with five nodes. Now, there is a link here between the nodes, the regions, and the edges. So what I want you to do now is investigate what that link is. How are those numbers connected? <laughs> 